microorganisms. If you spend your life studying microbes or microorganisms, you would be a microbiologist. These are the smallest of the small and the simplest of the simple, belonging to various groups like bacteria, fungi, algae, protozoa, as well as viruses. There are more microorganisms on and inside your body than there are cells that make up your entire body. Microorganisms were observed for the first time in 1674 by Anthony van Leeuwenhoek, but they are only identified 200 years later. Microorganisms can live in the air, on land, and in fresh or salt water environments. Some of them, pathogens, can be harmful and can cause diseases. But there are some microorganisms that are needed for living things to survive. Although organisms are incredibly small, with size ranging from 0.03 micrometers for the virus of the foot and mouth disease to 300 micrometers for paramecium, they play a significant role to keep the planet running. All of the living things, plants and animals in Earth's environmental communities of forests, deserts, tundra, water, air and all of the rest depend on the cryptobiotic crust or microbiotic layer in the soil. The microorganisms are probably the first alive beings appeared on ground. They would be thus the common ancestors of all the living being. Although microorganisms appeared 3.8 billion years ago, they were observed by Pasteur and Koch through their microscope way after their existence. Microorganisms since then have been subjected to various isolation techniques. With respect to microscope, electron microscopy is used to create an image of the specimen. Dark field microscopy is used when staining a sample which is difficult to detect and an inverted microscope used for studying thick samples. Various aseptic methods are also used to collect, grow and preserve a sample such that no other microbes are introduced or lost from the original culture. Even the use of agar plates in the form of street plate procedure or selective agar are used to isolate a particular colony of microorganisms. The first important microorganism to be detected is the protozoa with more than 30,000 species. They are eukaryotic cells which means the cell is by itself an organism where various vital functions take place. They are grouped in four main families based on their mode of locomotion or their cell organization. The most well-known are the plasmodium, the trypanosoma, the trichomonas and the paramecium. The plasmodium is the parasite responsible for human malaria whereas the trypanosomas causes African sleeping sickness or the human trypanosomiasis. Similarly, trichomonas is a common cause of vaginitis and the paramecium are members of the phylum ciliophora, famous for their predator-prey relationship with didenium. In this spectrum, a close cousin of the protozoa from the protist family, algae can be referred to as plant-like organisms that are usually photosynthetic and aquatic but do not have true roots, stems, leaves, vascular tissue and have simple reproductive structures. They are eukaryotes generally divided into microalgae and macroalgae on the basis of the group of photosynthetic heterotrophic organisms present in them and is commonly found in the form of chlorella and alva lactuca. The next are the fungi which are again eukaryotic cells. Only microscopic fungi 
are part of the microorganisms. The most significant group of microscopic fungi is yeasts group. First microorganisms which have been used by man for the production of alcoholic drinks. The most important microorganisms are the bacteria that are surely the most numerous beings on earth and their mass is considered total 15 times higher than the mass of all the animals. Bacteria are prokaryotes and are the simplest forms of life. They are primarily divided into archaebacteria and eubacteria. Archaebacteria are found mainly in extreme habitats where little else can survive. All archaebacteria are known as anaerobic and obtain their energy from light. Methanogens are archaebacteria which produce methane. They are found in the intestines of animals and provide essential nutrients and help to break down the food in the intestine. Eubacteria live in a wide variety of habitats. They also obtain their energy needs in a variety of ways. Escherichia coli is an example of eubacteria and it's also known as E. coli. Escherichia coli live in the lower gut of animals. Although E. coli has been often in the news as foodborne pathogen, the majority of its strains are harmless. Bacteria can be of different shapes, namely, some are spherical, like the cocky, some rod-shaped, like the bacilli, and the other spiral, like the spirillum. Usually, its size is at most 2 micrometers. Bacteria multiply by binary fission, which is a type of asexual reproduction. If the conditions are favorable, they can divide themselves every 40 minutes. The existence of viruses was established in 1892 when Dmitry Ivanovsky discovered microscopic particles. The viruses are 10 to 100 times smaller than bacteria. Their size varies from 30 nanometers to 300 nanometers. They are biological objects and subcellular in nature, endowed with genetic continuity and possess a greater evolutionary capacity. They consist of a nucleic acid and of a proteinic coat. Some of the familiar viruses include the HIV virus, the SARS virus, influenza, and the hepatitis A virus. Although organisms are sometimes helpful in pushing the boundaries of biology, they are usually harmful to living things. Trypanosome, a kind of protozoa, is mostly known because of the disease trypanosomiasis that it causes. It is transmitted by the Setsi fly, which contaminates itself by aspiring the blood of a sick man. Amongst algae, harmful algal blooms or HAB, which are algal bloom events involving toxic or otherwise harmful phytoplankton such as dinoflagellates or diatoms cause threat to our ecosystem and marine life. In a sick immune system, germs like candida fungi, which are responsible for mycos, usually is harmless, but may develop themselves and be responsible for diseases like lily of the valley and the genital mucous membrane. There are about 200 bacteria species which are pathogenic for human beings. For example, the tetanus, the leprosy, the cholera, the plague, and the syphilis, which are responsible for the most century. The flu virus causes fevers and loose coughs. Influenza or pandemias have already killed many people. Microorganisms are not always bad. Bacteria like rhizobium are responsible for fixing and drawing nitrogen from the air and converting them into nitrates, building fertile soil for plants to grow in. 
Fungi, like the commonly acknowledged brewer's yeast, is used in the wine and champagne making process. Similarly, penicillium, which is a soil fungus, was used to originally create penicillium in 1940, one of the first antibiotic to be made for medical use. Along those lines is the phage virus that eats bacteria which are harmful to humans. Algae like Nostoc and Anabena, on the other hand, is widely known for agricultural as they enrich the soil with nitrogen. So, this was a sneak peek into the large yet tiny world of microorganisms that are an integral part of our existence. Microorganisms have truly built foundations for most of the biological phenomenon around us.